Hi, so here we are about to look for and find and download the new firmware for the DSO Nano Oscilloscope. So <clears throat> if you go online, the first things you need to do is to find Seed Studio Forum, www.seedstudio.com slash forum and join that forum because that's the place where you'll find the fir firmware. Uh, so that's uh, easy enough. I've already joined and I've signed in. So once you've done that, uh, no, uh, you then find uh, the manual for that, that that comes with it online. Seedstudio.com depot images product DSO manual PDF. And the reason for that is that there is one piece of software that you need to download. If you go to page what is it? Page six. It will give you this link to download something called um0412.zip so uh, and it also tells you where you can find the instructions on how to do that now I've already done it once so I don't know whether it's going to work twice but let's give it a try uh, so yeah it's downloaded it for the second time and what I did was I put that in a separate directory but let's also go to here and see what we've got there page not found there you go that's the sort of thing that happens so don't worry about it uh, we've downloaded this sharing folder this um 0412 zip and you see I already had it so let's I'll just delete that one so I haven't got too many copies of it and inside this zip file there is the DFU SE demo version 3 setup um, and if you run that, now you can't run it out of the zip file, so here's what I did. Uh, I've got a, I'm putting all this in a folder called Arduino because that's where I'm working, but DSO. And there's my DFU SE demo version 3 setup. And you run that. So it'll be slightly different from you. Uh, and it's finished. OK. OK, so <clears throat> I'll show you what to do with that in just a moment. But the next thing we need to do is to get Ben's firmware. And to do that, you need to go to, here we go, search within the uh, forum for DSO firmware version 3.62. Uh, and I'm quite excited about this because I discovered that I've only downloaded version 3.5. So <clears throat> looking for DSO firmware version 3.62, you'll find there's 3.61 that was in February and 3.62 was in May. And by the time you watch this, who knows, there might be some more. But here we are, DSO Benef firmware and it downloads it and takes a few seconds and if I show in the folder there it is and <clears throat> I'm going to move it out of the zip file into my DSO folder and you see <clears throat> when I downloaded it before I got version 3.52 and you get two files so let's look in here sure enough we get two files which I'll copy in there ah I see one of those is 362 and one is 352 but um, let's copy and replace okay so we've now got 3.62 app and 3.52 lib and we're going to need both of those and uh, Let's bring over the user's guide just in case it's changed. So we're done. OK, so we're going to need to install these two files, app and lib. Now, here's what we have to do. First of all, I'm going to connect my um, DSO Nano to the computer. 
Okay, so <clears throat> now we're looking at the original DSO manual that came with the uh, oscilloscope itself. We're on page six. Uh, we've downloaded that. We discovered that this instruction isn't there. Never mind. So step two, connect oscilloscope with PC. So I'm just doing that, plugging it in via the USB cable that came with it and switching it on. Oh, no, not switching it on. Because it says press and hold the minus switch and switch on the power. The minus switch, let's just check this out. Minus switch there is the one at the bottom of the big middle button. Okay, now I haven't got enough hands to uh, do this, I don't think. Let's try. Um, press and hold the minus switch and switch it on and it says firmware upgrading please wait and then you can let it go okay let's switch. okay <clears throat> firmware upgrading please wait don't worry about all that it then just says run defuse demo on pc uh well there's a little thing that you have to know here, which is where is it? So if we go into uh, my, uh, let's go into my computer, C drive, program files x86, and it's under, uh, here it is, ST Microelectronics, software, DFUSE, bin. And that's where you'll find DFUSE demo.exe. And that's the one you've got to run. Double click it. And then we get this screen. So let's put these others out of the way and come back to our instructions. And let's move that over so we can see both at the same ah, no. See. Don't do that. Better. Okay, so we can now compare <clears throat> these two screens. And the first thing we've got to do is it says one, verify after download, and that's there. And then it says two, choose. And <clears throat> this is where we navigate to where we've put the downloaded Ben files. So the first downloaded Ben file I'm going to download is DSO Ben F app V 3.62 DFU. Click the open key and it says file correctly loaded and then you click upgrade. Uh, don't worry about that, just go yes. And you're getting down here some information. Verify successful. Then we go choose again, and now we're going to go for the lib file, the 3.52 DFU lib file. Uh, file correctly loaded, upgrade, uh, never mind about that. Verify successful, that's it, we can quit out of here now, just come down here and see and it explains what we've done and the last thing is shut down and reactivate power to use the new firmware so let's just see that happening i'm using the shut it down switch it off i'll pull the plug out and switch it on again and it says Ben F system initializing, bang, it's there. Brilliant, we've done it.